everyone welcome back to Beauty by Trish. Today I would like to go over my week in review with you and talk about the things that I used this week let you know what I thought of them. Um, I'm a little winded and my hair is a little crazy. I just sent Jack and Chief to their first obedience lesson. Um, I'm a big believer, big believer in obedience if you are a dog owner. Usually it's the owner that needs the training. I know I probably could have done this at home with Jack, but I think it's really important that Jack and Chief continue to strengthen their bond. Now that's going to be a little bit easier. Tax time is over, so Jack's schedule is going to loosen up a good bit. But they just left, and I know that Jack is really excited, so I hope it goes well. I know the ladies they're training with and they're going to treat them very well. So I'm excited to see how their first training lesson goes. <laughs> and before I go on any further, I do want to say welcome and thank you. Welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you for those of you that have been subscribed to me. We hit over 2000 so our family is growing and that makes me super excited. I have I have said before how much you all mean to me and I just can't put it into words. Thank you. Our family's growing and that's super exciting and I appreciate all the support. I do also want to say I have some ideas coming up for some videos that I want to do and this is really getting Gabby, isn't it? Um, I don't... If I put a video up and it is a video that you're like, well, I'm really not interested in that. Or it's a video that you're like, you know, everybody does that. I, I do not take offense if you do not watch that video. Just because you're subscribed to me or just because we're friends doesn't mean that you have to watch a video that you're not interested in. I appreciate any and all support that, that you give me, but I in no way want anybody to feel like they have to watch a video that they're not interested in. I've had lately, you know, some people make comments and first off, I will take any video suggestions. I will, I love ideas. I want to know what you all want to see. What I do is I try to do videos that are going to be either fun or informative or just silly and make you laugh. Um, I know a comment was made, you know, everybody does empty videos. The reason I, I love to watch empty videos and I like to do them because that is my opportunity if I have, and I have up to this point, if I have neglected to come back and tell you my opinion on something that I've hauled, then I take that platform to give you my honest opinion on things. And I know sometimes like this, the one I just posted over the weekend, it was a lot. And I, I realized that. But what you don't realize is now myself, I'm speaking for myself only. I'm not speaking for anybody else that does videos here on YouTube. I have... You know, I, I buy things. That was what I used. That was a vice I used. Uh, retail therapy, if you will, for a very long time. Now, my thing that I wanted to start at the beginning of the year was to use what I have. Did that mean I was on a no-buy? Absolutely not. I'm about, about to do several hauls that prove that. But what it meant was I was taking ownership of the things I had already purchased and I am and I am using them or trying them and passing them on if they don't work for me and that is what I've done I've done several purges I've used up so much of my hair care and I'm using up a lot of my skin care now my makeup I've purged a good bit but I collect I collect makeup I'm a makeup artist, therefore I use a lot of makeup. I am a makeup addict, so I have a lot. I'm a collector. I like to have different things. Therefore, just because I put up an empties video where 
that new basket was absolutely full does not mean I use that all up in one month. Uh, rarely, like maybe with a hair mask, you know, the little hair mask that you can get, uh, things like that, then yes. But normally that is just, you know, when I put that video up, there were several things that I was almost out of when I put that up and they're in my empties for my next month. So it's, it's not so much that that item has been used up all in that month but it was just you know me cycling through so much of what I have you know I've had some conditioners and some deep conditioners for months and months and months and depending you know my hair was blonde my hair was brown my hair is red you know depending on what I was doing with my hair is what I needed at the time so I just did want to clarify that it does sometimes look like I have done nothing but wash my hair brush my teeth and wore deodorant but it's, in fact, it's just, you know, cycling through and some months it's going to be like that. Some months, it, you know, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to have half that much. So I did want to clarify, but if you're not interested in that kind of video, it's okay. Like I said, I have some videos coming up that I'm hoping that you all will be enjoying and that you're going to find it helpful. That's all I wanted to say. That was extremely long. I spent nine minutes, nine minutes just rattling on and on but anyway I'm going to take a quick drink and if you're interested in seeing what I like this week then just hang on and I will be right back with primers this week I did try a new primer and I have to say that I've really been surprised by this primer I really it, it's not like it's not like knock me out of the park crazy but this has turned out to be a nice little primer. This is CoverGirl Simply Ages Anti-Aging Foundation Primer. And this is what it looks like. And it comes out like a white, white cream. And, and it just fades into your skin and it doesn't leave any kind of a white cast that I have noticed. I would pretty much say that if you have any kind of a white cast left, that you've probably got a little too much but this really does it it feels good on my face it does extend the wear of my makeup but I've used this with several other foundations I have it on today with the foundation that I wore today I've also wore it with my EX1 foundation and I also wore it with one of my MAC foundations and it wears very nicely with any foundation that I choose to use. I do notice a little bit of a blurring effect. It photos very nicely. It doesn't, it doesn't have a silicone feel like the Miracle Blur, but it has that same kind of a blur effect under your foundation. So I have been enjoying this. I do like it if you are wanting to try a primer not really wanting something that is a silicone base primer this really is i've i've really been surprised by this primer so i've been enjoying that i've always had super oily skin by this time i have oil seeping everywhere in my t-zone even down here in my cheeks and i honestly have none so it's been really a um it's been an interesting spring because i'm trying to figure out my whole face and skincare regime and what I need, what I don't need. When you have a clear top, I guess it just looks messy. I'm taking the top off because it looks nasty. This is L'Oreal True Match Lumi and this is in C5 Cool. It's what I have on today and I really do like this foundation. It's just like I said and I don't mean to repeat myself, it's just like a new world that I can try some of these things and that's where a lot of the purge with my makeup will happen is some of my skincare. I got a lot of skincare at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and although it was a good deal like cost wise I don't need a lot of those things anymore and I'm more branching out for things to give me more of a glow and a smooth natural non-dry look so this has been really really nice you know I I know it sounds crazy unless you have battled oily skin yourself but I look at something I never dreamed I would be buying or putting anything loomy or luminous on my face 
So I have really enjoyed this. This is a really nice foundation. I don't like the regular True Match, but I do, but I do like the Lumi. So if you haven't tried this, you might want to. So I've been using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This came with a palette. I don't know which one. It has kind of a, comes out almost like a pearlescent, but it seems to dry matte. This is nice. I'm trying to work through so many of the little samples of eye primer that I've gotten with like eyeshadow palettes and, and such. So I've been enjoying that. But like today, I really packed on the lid color. And I know I've heard several people, Katie, Katie talks about it all the time, using the MAC eye primer and her glitter or her shimmer doesn't transfer up. And I got to looking and I thought, you know what? I hardly ever use this. And this, this is the MAC mixing base and I just take I think I've shared this with you guys before I just take just a tiny little bit and I just put it down before I apply my eyeshadow on my lid and it just keeps it there it keeps it in place and I really like I really like it so I love this I really do and I've been using this MAC setting powder this is an invisible and I've just been using this to set my whole face. This is a really nice product. It does seem to leave a little bit of a white cast. For my contour, I have been using the other one of the contour from Wet n Wild and really enjoying it. For my eyes, I have not hauled these yet. I'm having a little bit of a dilemma because I went like crazy on some palettes and then I went crazy on some lip stuff. And I'm thinking about doing a lip haul and then a eye palette haul just for the fact that I can break down and give swatches. Let me know what you think. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution in Unicorns Unite. This is what is on my eyes right now. Look at that mirror that you get. Look at the mirror you get. Say hello again. But seriously, look at these colors. You, your circle shades are your mattes, and then the others are shimmer, satin. Um, like I said, it's what I have on. It's what I have on today, and the colors are beautiful. They're vivid. They don't get muddy. They're very nice. So, enjoying that. But definitely, let me know if you let me break the haul up like that. Lips, eyes, and then kind of general. I don't know. You tell me what you think. And something that I do want to share with you, like I said, I have not even hauled this yet. I've been having a really frustrated time lately because my skin has been so dry, like especially right through here. It's been dry around my nose and I use like oils and things, but it just seems like nothing has helped. And I had ordered this one day. I was really frustrated. My makeup looked like and this is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. And I've used this, today was my third time, and I can already tell a difference. Like, it has already gotten a grasp of those dry areas and really works the magic. And it's such a rich, rich, it's super creamy, but... It almost has a whipped texture and it just, when you put it on the skin, it just feels so cool and so smoothing and it makes my face feel like silk. And I absolutely, after just three uses, have already seen a difference. So I'm super excited about that. And although I've only used it three times, I still felt since I had seen a difference already, that it was worth a mention. So, and my blush is once again something that I have not hauled yet. And I don't know, maybe I am getting ready here in a little bit. I'm going to tape as long as, you know, Jack and its chief are in class. And Jack has my vehicle that makes me a little nervous. But since Jack and chief are in class, I'm going to go ahead and um, feel, film my VIB Rouge haul. Um, but this was not in that haul. This is something I had ordered before. 
and this is the Tardis blush and this is I mean huge mirror once again and look at those collars let me look at those collars I mean can we say what this coral collar right here I mean what it is it is stunning yes so definitely a favorite a favorite this brush came with it and normally like my blush brushes are like this so when I looked at this I thought well that's not going to work and let me just show you I used I used this pinky one today I'm just going to take this coral and go over top of it look at this look Mm -hmm. it is just beautiful but look at it on I mean it's beautiful it goes on beautiful it is absolutely it, it's just definite loves this brush I just couldn't believe it because like I said I usually use a bigger bigger brush boom Mm -hmm. I love it. Another favorite, save this to last, and I did not put any on because I wanted you to see the magic. This is uh, Laura Geller's Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. <sighs> Look at that. This is the brush it comes with. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Let me get my mirror. Let me get my mirror. Okay. Are we ready? Here we go. Let me put it down. See? Mm hmm. It is, if you have mature skin and you are concerned about different highlighters, be concerned no more. I'm just saying, be concerned no more. That is it for my week in review. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Have a great week and I will talk to you in the next video.